What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I have an exclusive for you. This was just put out a couple weeks ago. It is the Solomon Mesh RTA by Keys. If you remember, I did the uh, Solomon 3 a while back and it was one of my favorite tanks. And we haven't seen too much come out of Keys for a while. So when I seen this, I, I had to get it. I had to pick it up. The Keys Solomon Mesh. So another player in the mesh game here. We're going to see how it holds up. So uh, let me get uh, the camera set up. Get her close and down and dirty with you. And uh, show you what's in the package. What it comes with. How it works. And we'll get it vaping for you. So I'll be right back with the... Uh, Solomon Mesh RTA. Okay, guys, we're back down and close with the Solomon Mesh RTA. I'm going to try a different camera angle here, so don't mind my uh, shirt here, but uh, takes out the shadows and uh, we got a nice good focus on this. So, yeah, here we go, guys, with the uh, Solomon. So, uh, I was really impressed with the. Uh, Solomon 3 RTA when that came out and it had the uh, it had the uh, airflow caps like the uh, Creed does and it had its own airflow caps which was pretty nice so here we go with the uh, box you're gonna get the instruction card show you how to cut your cut your cotton trim it so there you go get that a nice focus for you so that's going to be how you uh, trim your cotton so it's going to be kind of like the profile and the uh, Kylan M to where you're going to be trimming it at an angle on uh, both sides of your cotton and then it's uh, telling you you want to have it flip you want to have it pretty level as far as uh, going into your juice wells you don't want to have it sagging like they show you here so uh, yeah, there you go. Give you a little shot of that. Put that aside. Here we go with the uh, tank. This does have a uh, 6.5 milliliter capacity for your e-liquid, which is really nice. I don't think any of the mesh tanks have that size on the uh, tank, so that's very good. I'm very happy with that. You have, of course, your straight glass, which is going to hold three and a half milliliters of e-liquid for you. So let's pull that out. Get underneath here. You're going to keep that glass right in there so it doesn't get broken. Under here, you're going to have your little pouch. And it is going to come with this big old long rope of cotton, which it says to use uh, four times. There we go. Use four times organic cotton. Then you're going to get, of course, you're going to get your uh, your rod for bending your strips. You're going to get a screwdriver. Get your extra O-rings. 510 drip tip adapter. Grub screws. So there you have that. Then you're going to have uh, two different kinds of cotton or strips here. So you're going to have a 0.17, and these are both Canthal strip, which has the uh, large honeycomb type holes on it. And you're going to have a power range of 45 watts to 60 watts on them. And then you're going to have the 0.13. Canthal power range of 60 watts to 70 watts on these which have the uh, finer holes in it and these are the ones I'm going to be putting in today so uh, you know how I like the uh, higher range on my wattage so hopefully we'll get a nice warm vape out of that so these are the ones we'll be using and uh, let me get set up here I'm going to take these uh, take this rod out here so we can bend our strips 
and let me get all this put back away and I will come right back and we'll get into this all right guys we're back with the star of the show here Here's your RTA like I said before you have a 6.5 milliliter for your e-liquid you have your top airflow which is what they had on the Sullivan 3 which I really liked the uh, top airflow you're not going to have any leaks in it uh, your top fill actually it comes with a an 810 drip tip which is a standard drip tent you can use uh, any 810 in there it's got the o-rings on the inside for you so that's gonna be really nice there we go get this in here focus there we go so you got your eight your 810 drip tip which uh, it does come with a 510 adapter if you choose to use your 510 but uh, has your 810 drip tip pops right on there pretty snug pretty nice uh, hole in there then your top fill is gonna of course unscrew like this and then your fill port is gonna be right there it's pretty nice like that so it's got a nice uh, kind of concave fill system which is going to be good because uh, it's not going to leak on you when you uh, go to fill it it's not going to get all over your tank which is nice so we're going to put that back on and I'm going to uh, go down to the bottom here you've got uh, 25 millimeters on the uh, size of course, you got your branding, Solomon Mesh by Keys. You got your uh, nice protruding 510 pin. So this is going to be safe for your hybrid and mechanical mods. You got a nice protrusion on the uh, 510, which is good, as you can see. So you should have no problem with that. I would not recommend running a mesh on your uh, mech mods. But uh, it does have a protruding 510 pin. So here's your card once again, just so you guys can see how to trim it. So we're going to go at an angle, both sides. And we're going to tuck it straight down in like that. So that's how it's going to look. We're going to get to our deck. You just unscrew from the bottom, of course. And this is kind of like the dead rabbit, where uh, you keep spinning and it's just going to keep spinning because it's going to line up with that juice flow right there. So there you go. And you can just pull it off. And inside your uh, chimney here, you take this glass off. Inside your chimney, you're going to have your airflow system, which is honeycomb style, which is nice. So let me get a focus in on here real quick. There you go. So yeah, you got a nice uh, honeycomb airflow that's going to come down from both sides and hit your strip right from the top there. So you're going to have a nice smooth airflow and it's going to give you a nice smooth hit. So there's your chimney inside there for you. Of course, here we go. We have the deck, which also has honeycomb airflow in the bottom here so there you have it and now of course you're going to unscrew this side and this side and uh, this is where your strip is going to go right across here and then your uh, cotton is going to go across here like that and of course you've got nice big juice wells here or cotton for your cotton so you got a huge side window here for your juice flow to go through the side of your tank which is very nice so uh, let's uh, get some strip get a strip going here and uh, get the camera 
kind of focused in here. There we go. So yeah, you got a nice honeycomb style airflow through the bottom of the coil or your juice is going to come through the bottom here, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, open these clamps here on the sides. Get the right screwdriver. <laughs> So we open these up, and as you see on the bottom of the, uh, underneath here where your strip goes in, you do have a stop so you don't have to worry about uh, putting your strip in too far. It does have the stop there, so that's nice. And we'll get this one opened. there so there we go so now we have both of these open for our strip to go in like that and like I said we do have a stop on both of these one here and one here We got our strip. And there we go with our strip. So as you see, you got that uh, very fine hole pattern on the strip. So we're going to grab our strip here and uh, use our rod. And what you're going to do, like of course with any mesh strip, you're going to put it on your rod and just bend it around like that. And that's going to form your strip for your deck, which is just like that. Very nice. Then uh, it's going to kind of look like that. So of course we're going to flip this around and carefully, as with any strip, you want to make sure you don't bend it because these strips are very fragile and very dainty. So uh, you want to make sure that you place this very carefully into your deck. without bending it just like that it's gonna work out really nice then just simply uh, hold your finger down on there and tighten it down Kind of hold your finger on it, tighten that side down, and then uh, tighten this side down here. Okay, so we got it all tightened up and I put it on a mod. I'm going to fire this at 15 watts just to make sure everything is looking good on it. And to make sure our strip is nice and secured. And uh, there you have it. Don't take much. Get a nice glow to it. So that is nice right there. Looks good. So now uh, that part's done. We're going to take this back off the mod. 
like I said, it does not take much when you're test firing that coil for that strip to get heated up. So you don't want to be any more than about 15 watts on your strip. So now you see we got our strip nice and positioned. And that's pretty much the easy part of this tank. So what we're going to try is the cotton that they give us. So I'm going to grab this. And it just comes in a big old long string of cotton. And of course it's a big old fat piece of cotton because that's how that's how uh, mesh strips go. So uh, we're going to just kind of measure this out and trim a cut slice off here just so we can get it going here. I'm going to cut this end off because it's kind of crunchy there. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut this end off my scissors. I'm going to cut that off like that. And you're definitely going to want some pretty sharp scissors. So I'm just going to cut off a piece like because you're not going to need much for your uh, cotton here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut like right there because that's pretty much all we're going to need. And I'll cut that right here like that. There's going to be our strip. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this in our finger just to get a start on it. And this is a big old fluffy piece of cotton for sure. So you want to get it nice and rolled in there like that. And you're going to stick it through here. And that might still be a little too much cotton in here. We might have to pull some of this out. I know you want to have that packed, but I don't want it so packed to where uh, where I can't fit it down in there. So we'll take some of that off like that. And we're going to roll it just so I can get it started across here. We'll try this again. There we go. That's more like it. And you're going to pull that on through. And you want to make sure that every part of your strip there is with that cotton. Because you definitely don't want any hot spots coming off of that strip. So you just kind of want to fluff it up in there, you know, make sure your cotton's in there like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim it, kind of fluff this up, just so it's not all bunched up. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, trim it. Now, from the videos that I've seen, and they don't have any American videos, and I've seen a couple of the Brits doing them, and they just were cutting it straight across and tucking it down in. But if you look at the card, it doesn't say that. It tells you to trim it at an angle, just like the uh, profile and the column M. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with it here instead of uh, just cutting it straight down like they were doing. So we're going to take our scissors here and we're going to cut this at an angle slightly down. Fluff this out and we're going to cut it kind of like this. So we're going to have some of it hanging down here so we're going to trim this up just like this to start one
trying to get all these stragglers off here so I can get a good cut on it. And we'll cut this one down like there. And that's two. So that's what we're going to start with. And of course we're going to be doing some trimming and uh, make sure that this is uh, straight down. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Like that. And then we're going to trim the same side here. I'm going to trim this down. that will probably take a little more off there because that's still a little long but uh, yeah this is the the hardest part about doing these type of tanks is getting your uh, cotton right for sure because uh, if you don't have it in there right you're gonna get you're gonna get a dry hit for sure so that's what we're gonna start with here kind of like that and then, uh, of course, we're going to trim the top down across the uh, top of the mesh strip here. And it's definitely a lot nicer to do with sharp scissors. So kind of like that. And then we'll do the same with the other side. And we're going to trim this side here like this. Get the sides here like that. So it's going to look kind of like that. Get any excess. And that uh, is going to then tuck down into our juice wells here. So I think it's still a little long. So I'm going to trim a little more off here. Because you just want the ends to be tucked underneath into that juice well because you want your juice to uh, flow underneath there and come up through the bottom of the it's kind of like the doom almost so it's kind of a, a cross between all three tanks which is really cool and yeah, we'll see how it produces but I definitely like the idea of the nice big uh, six and a half milliliters of e-liquid that you're going to be able to run in this tank for sure that's a that's a definite pro in my book because I do not like uh, having to fill my tank so as you can see I'm pretty much uh, flat on the top here which is good I've got uh, full contact with my strip which is good so uh, now we're going to take our plier, our tweezers and we're going to tuck the bottom end underneath of that ring. Just the bottom. Because that's all that it's going to need to go underneath that ring. So we'll tuck it down underneath there. And if you think that it's too much, then you can just pull it out and uh, trim a little more off there. Which I think we might do, because we do not want too much in there at all. So I'm going to even pull this out and uh, trim a little more off there. Just so uh, we don't have too much cotton for it to uh, do what it needs to do. So let me get this pulled out here. So yeah, we can uh, fluff that out and trim it down a little bit more even. Trim this down just a little more and then uh, kind of fluff it out here a little bit 
Make sure you don't uh, bend your strip. And we're going to tuck this underneath. Pull that down. I think that right there is going to be where we need to be. So we can see that we've got plenty of room underneath there for juice to get underneath there, up underneath the strip. So I think that's where we're going to need. Get that down in there like that. Fluff this up a little bit. Do the same for this side. We're going to trim it down a little more because I already see that's going to be too long. So we're going to trim this up just a little bit more. Right there. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and tuck this underneath. And that might still even be too much in there. So kind of like that is what we're looking for here, I think. I hope that I've got this right. It looks pretty good. We have uh, plenty of room in here. Underneath here, that just looks like it's coming down further, but it's actually not. It's got plenty of room in there for your juice to go in. So we got plenty of room there. And then, uh, of course, we got plenty of room on this side as well. So let's hope that that works out like that, just like that. And as you can see, I can pretty much uh, stick my screwdriver through the bottom of that. So we're not too packed in there, I can see. So now uh, we're going to use some uh, famous fair strawberry pound cake juice. And we're going to get this all uh, filled up. Put some uh, juice on the cotton here. And we don't want to pack it down. We want it to be nice and fluffy. So we want to do it carefully and gingerly. And maybe put this on your mod just so... Uh, we can get it all the way into the cotton through the strip and make sure it's nice and saturated because you want to get these strips as saturated as you can especially in mesh because uh, there's a lot of cotton that you got to get filled up here so you got to definitely make sure you get this thing fully saturated and as you can see it's going down underneath my ring real nice so nothing's stopping it which is nice and we'll fill this side and get this side going the same way and you don't want to uh, pack it down you want to get it nice and saturated and you see we got a nice uh, 
Nice build on our strip. I'm just going to bring that in. New coil, bring this down. And I'm not even going to fire this past 20 watts. I'm just going to keep it at 15 just so we can get the juice flowing. There's 15 watts right there. And we'll just fire it and get it going just to suck the juice down. We don't want to we don't want to get it firing yet. But we want to definitely get that juice sucked down into the uh, coil or the bottom of the cotton for sure. So uh, yeah, we got a nice uh, nice and full of juice. Yeah, that's good. So there we go. Just like that, guys. How she should look, I hope. So now what we're going to do is take this off our mod. And uh, we're going to put our tank together on here. And uh, we're going to put this together. So we got our tank. It's going to go on, and you've got an O-ring in the top here. Nice. It's going to slide over there. It's got a nice snug fit. Six and a half milliliters of liquid, which is very nice. So what's going to happen here is you've got a notch right there. You see where that is? That's going to line up with your uh, with your side here on this, and it's going to kind of lock in just like the dead rabbit does so we're going to slide this in here and you're going to see it you're going to see it pop down when i get to that juice and it should once we get to the juice port you see it pop in right there right there see it pop in then you're going to want to turn it in like that and it's going to tighten down for you no problem at all which is very nice I like how that works so you got that massive hole there for your juice on both sides which is going to work really nice we're going to take our top fill off here and we're going to fill it up six and a half milliliters of e-liquid filled there we go we are filled to the top and of course with that black it makes that uh, logo stand out really nice so uh, there you have it guys the Solomon mesh all built let me pause this get it back up top and we'll see how she uh, she does so yeah, that looks really nice. I'm really digging it. So, okay, I'll be right back, guys. Back up top with the Solomon Mesh RTA. Got her sitting on the uh, Lux. We're going to run it at 60 watts, just at the bottom, which is what uh, it calls for on the strip. 60 watts. Here we go. Let's see what she does. It's always scary hitting on a mesh strip, but 60 watts. Very nice flavor. It's coming off really good. Really nice mesh flavor like you get off any mesh. Really nice. Big, dense clouds. Really like that. I've got it uh, open all the way on the uh, airflow. Can't see that because it's black. But uh, yeah, we got it fully open on the airflow. Really good flavor. 
a little juicy. <laughs> get it, get it, uh, all that excess that we put in when we saturate it off. That'll come up when you first start hitting it. So uh, we got it at 60. Now I'm going to bump it to uh, 65. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. There we go. No dry hits. It's keeping up really well. Excellent flavor. Good uh, tank capacity. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Very simple to build on it. Getting in there. Juice bubbles already, which is a good sign. We're going to bump this up to the highest end of the wattage. We're going to go right up to 70 watts. Seventy watts. There you go. Seventy. I'm going to take a couple hits off of it. Keeping up fine. Absolutely fine. Big, dense clouds. I really like this one, guys. Get yourself the Solomon Mesh RTA by Keys.